And I want you to look at Mark chapter 1, verse 12. The Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness 40 days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. I have to confess to you, I didn't used to love Mark's gospel the way I love the other three. I used to think, Mark, he's just so fast. He's so concise. And I don't have the spiritual gift of concise. I'm pretty verbose. And so that was off-putting to me that it's such a fast gospel. And then the fact that he begins in chapter 1 with this kind of odd account of Jesus in the wilderness. I mean, this took place when Jesus was 30 years old, and it's, it's just kind of a sad story of him in the wilderness. Of course, there's, there's victory in that story. He ultimately defeats Satan, but here mostly it just talks about the wild beast. And I used to think, you know, that just doesn't have the same comfy vibe to it that Luke's beginning has. You know, when Luke talks about, you know, the wise men following the star or the shepherds watching their flocks by night, don't you just want to get a mug of hot chocolate and a blanket and curl up under it and listen to the rest of that wonderful Christmas story? This whole beast in the wilderness thing doesn't have the same comfy vibe. It's, it's not as appealing as the beginning of Luke's gospel, unless... You're a Christian living in the middle of the first century and you've lost friends and family members to wild beasts in the arena. Then this would be comforting. Then what this would say to you is Jesus knows exactly where you are. Jesus knows how heartbroken you are. He's been there. He's been segregated and alone in the wilderness facing wild beasts. He knows exactly where you hurt.